Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is the 29th. It's Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And so, yeah, I just went to check how many subscribers I had and to look at how many views I got on video. I got like 10. So that's kind of, that's a little bit discouraging because that, it makes me feel weird about my, my registry and potential housewarming, um, virtual housewarming video. Anyway, y'all, I have got some news today. News, updates, updates, updates. I found out what happened to my stimulus, child support. So that's what happened with that. I got my letter from the post office today. And then I went and got a printout from the place where I'm working at through the labor pool. They showed the five shifts that I had and the help that they gave me on one of the days. Some of the days they helped me, I need like $8 to get a room and they gave me like seven ninety eight or whatever. So I had that. And um, I can see, you know, I don't care. Look what happened. It pulled out the day because I'm a little bit. So that's two updates. My stimulus check. I had to print out for DCL, but they don't put it in seconds. So I'm going to take that there. And um, hotel room seats and stuff like that to show where my money went. And today is a bad day for me because I was in the motel. I was out of the motel Saturday and Sunday. Yep, or Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. And then I went back Monday, Tuesday because I had to um, work two days in a row. So I was able to go back. And, um, now, today I'm out, so I'm out, so I just keep my head covered up, because I'm pretty much out, but I like that. <laughs> that's what happened, and that's what happens when you cannot get in this room, so that's where I'm at, um, so yeah, that happens sometimes. So, cause I don't always get a show. Now I've been doing this for three, like three months, struggling like this. I've been out here like this for three months. So I don't really want to do this anymore. But now I know that there's no hope with the stimulus check. When you know bad news comes in threes. Uh, that was the first thing. Not getting to work today was the second thing. Um, it's just kind of be different because Domino's took fifteen dollars and eighty cents off my car last night. I was starving. I wanted something to eat. I was throwing back salt pepper, throwing it back because I knew I wasn't gonna get to eat last night. I was starving. I had to work. I got a shower and everything. I wanted to eat, and I tried to order Domino's, so I didn't have enough in my car, and I wasn't sure because of course I had a motel room debacle, you know, and um, the hotel registry, not registry, but the the website I used, and they gave me $5.91 back, but they didn't put it right on there. So I had to wait, and it messed my card up. So I didn't have enough money to get my pizza or whatever. Which kind of set me right. <laughs> so I owe my uncle like $41. I was supposed to get him what I had left, and I had 20 So I was going to give it to him. But either way, it all came out in the wash. So I didn't have any money left. $20 on hold somewhere else looking for you know, free plans for two people. So if they give me work tomorrow. And I'm gonna take my checks, which I hope is eighty seventy dollars. Um, then I pay my uncle back for paying part of my cell phone bill and helping me with my motel room. So I love my hundred and eleven dollars. So they give me seventy dollars and I give them eighty nine. I sold him eleven dollars. Twenty one dollars. I give him another job tomorrow, so I have to sleep outside again tomorrow. And then Friday, I've been motel room in for the weekend. If I don't get my nails and hair done, because sometimes I swear to God, I'm a girl. My face be looking so ugly. This shit make you ugly as fuck. My hair is righteous, but y'all not been in until since I got it put on back before Christmas. So, my <laughs> teeth. So, anyway. Yeah. And then hair and nails and a facial and my feet done and my feet scrub. So I got a hundred and fifty dollars I can spend on this myself and I don't have that. Like I never had that because the thing with this is why it's okay. It's cause every dime that I get it goes to my motel room and like probably buy me a hamburger or some french fries or something like that. Or like go some more pizza like hungry house got six dollar pizza like that. But other than that it's not what you know, it's nothing different what you want, but it's not what's gonna get me into an apartment. If I was in one already, it would help me. 
So the other things that I talked to the people about my housing, but it's probably gonna try to put me in a studio or the one bedroom. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and I thought I saw my son in the Dollar General. And I was like, hey, Kai, or oh, Kai. He sat around and looked, and he kept walking. That hurt my feelings, but that is all more why I don't want a studio or one bedroom apartment. It's get my own house. I get my kids to stay with me again because I don't know, you know how it is. Been with your mom, you're not sure that's her. It makes you nervous about who you talk to because it makes me as a mom nervous to speak to him because I don't know if he knows it's me. You get what I'm saying? I was like, hi, and you look. And so, yeah, that was what that was. So then I had to come over here. I see my crazy hair. Anyway, I'm pretty much ready to go. <laughs> I'm pretty much ready to go away from the situation. I don't know how much all it's gonna be. <sighs> but I don't want a one bedroom or two. I want to have to pick it up to get all my kids into. So, and it is just with that program, they used to working with prostitutes and crackheads. And, stuff like that people that's been in this situation a long time because they can't get out of it because they're addicted and so they want to control your purse strings like they want access to your bank account they want to be able to call the bank and take your bank statements and stuff like that they want to be able to tell you what you can spend and toggle your rent like sometimes 75 sometimes 100 sometimes like mine probably more than it be 300 um sometimes be 600 like they'll toggle your rent look let's see oh i thought someone was on the team all right, they'll talk to your rent and play with your money a lot. So, I don't know, like, it's a program that I need to get into my house, but I don't, it's a junkie program, but I'm not one. So, I don't have a drug addiction, I don't have, like, alcoholism, so I don't have anything to go to Meridian for. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I do. I just told her like an adult like I am, you know, that doesn't work for me, and it hurts my feelings that you brought it up, because when I came in there, I said... I want a regular social services assistance application because I want to see my first class of security to move into a house. She was talking about the program and what she taught. She was like, my kids, and I couldn't, I, I couldn't stay with them. I was like, yeah, no, that's not going to work for me. I would rather just do the first class of security and move into my house to pay my own rent. So we had that conversation again today. And that's pretty much how it went. Like, I just need to vent you guys. It's been a really hard day because I've been trying to be mature and responsible and tell everybody all this stuff. But if people don't listen, they just don't listen. You know? Just don't listen. So, it happens to be I'm outside again today. And I'm probably looking like I don't know what I feel like doing, but it ain't this. So, no. I don't have a boyfriend, so it's hard. If I had a boyfriend, probably have my own house. I had a boyfriend, probably have somebody to split motel rent with. But I don't. But I found one cleaner and a lot nicer than the other one. But it's so far out. And I walk to work in the morning. Like, I walk an hour. I start walking at 5 a.m. 4.30, 4.45. 4.45 a.m. And I get where I'm going to, like, 5.30. At 5.30. So I walk almost an hour every morning. If not an hour every morning to the place where I'm supposed to be at to see if they're going to send me out. And then I get out of work and I take the money to the hotel, pay for the hotel, go in, get a shower, wash my hair, because I wash my hair every day because full gunk. I do construction cleanups and stuff like that. And um, see if I got any change left to get me something. And I go to sleep and I wake up at 4.30 the next morning and do the same thing every morning. And it's not every morning thing because I only have five shifts. So five days I've done that. So, I, mean, I had one free night at the motel one time. So, that was good. So, that's our average. That's what I'm trying to say. It's getting better. It's going to be better. I'm going to be out of this soon. But I know that I can't use my stimulus check. And I was counting on that to say if the housing program didn't help me. I use my stimulus check. And I'm not getting that because it's child support. But I did get some good help today. Um, I'm using my apps a lot more. And... Hopefully, I'm going to have some better news for y'all soon. But as of right now, it's all doom and gloom on this break. And I'll have to talk to you guys next time. Peace. Y'all have a good night. Enjoy your life. Um, If you guys see me subscribe to any of your channels and you're just over here watching, please subscribe. I really, really need subscribers. And thank you so much for watching again.